Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to Expose. And if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here, I'd love it if you stayed and subbed. Sorry I haven't been around, I haven't been well and don't think I look like I'm dying and I've got blue lip balm on. <laughs> um, I'm going to do the comments and then do I have to do Lisa's carnivore video? Do I really? Have we not just heard enough about carnivore? Anyway, I'll think about it while I'm doing this. Hannah yes 1.6 thank you hannah it went to 1.6 and it dropped again then it went up one then it went down one and it's like we're doing the hokey cokey at the moment it's funny watching the numbers church of pos how about the story she tells about their dog that had been hit and killed and how she drove by each day with the kids in the car apparently she found that amusing she's fucking twisted absolutely twisted nobody who would have told the story about the kitten and then that dragging her ki kids to show them where the dog died fucking weirdo elizabeth she's shameful what an obnoxious person deb and she's the one who accidentally let him out and made no effort to find him no calls no bulletins nothing he was probably eating too much that she could have spent on her own food Hannah, how do they do that? It's called mindfuck, Joe. Claire, well that took a turn, didn't it? Nice trip to the laundromat and then we find out about a poor kitten. Kay Ray, lol, if it wasn't for laundrettes we would never see Nick came and taken his clothes off. Yes, that was one of the better adverts back in the day, wasn't it? Bonnie, oh my God, was she trying to be a life coach, lol? She has no idea what she's talking about. So why can't she do that for her food addiction? Exactly. She knows everything and knows nothing, Bonnie. Diane, Glenda, we real people go to the laundromat. Poor Glenda, crap. Just another drag to get money from poorer subs. When Then Glenda, another phony cry for help she does not need wash a few things out each night and hang them up to dry exactly everyone separates their laundry glenda i do my laundry two machines and dryer per week costs five dollars for the week glenda always tells the prices so some poor sub will send her twelve dollars con woman grifter make a sandwich at home instead of eating out glenda is the biggest thief around do not send her cash my dog eats better than glenda she's 72 now wow always eats with her mouth wide open weird yeah that's the thing see when you're her age and it's like when you go on holiday you do your, your undies and whatever and hang them up in the bathroom don't you it's like i was working so i never had time to to wash clothes and whatever so i used to take them to the laundry but yeah make a big deal about it like no one in the world ever went to a laundromat Elizabeth, that's a lovely clean place to do laundry, wasn't it? Beautiful. Nothing to complain about, Glenda, but you just have to nag about everything. Use a toe. Also, when she was living in a small apartment in New Jersey, she said she saves up her dirty laundry. Too lazy to do more than one trip to wash her clothes. I mean, you'd think that would give her something to do and she'd be out and about and meet people that were sat there watching their clothes go around in a circle as well. But no. Narcs, they don't want to do any of the work, do they? Elizabeth, what is with narcs and their strange food ways? Kimber Farms and lack of hygiene, yeah. Elizabeth, Glenda is 92. Thank you, Glen uh, Elizabeth. I love your age assignments, Elizabeth. <laughs> Hello, she's always making everyone 80 years older than they are. They make me laugh, Deb, because I know narcissists are terrified of aging. Lol, hugs, dear friend. Ah, is that why you do it? Ma, lol, looks like it. <laughs> she does look old, though, doesn't she? At least Lardy doesn't. I don't think Lardy looks as, as old. But yeah, that's 10 years on, isn't it? Who knows what she looks like now? The paycheck, her job title is professional grifter and scammer. Uh, but she says, Elizabeth, I'm a content creator. Really? Okay, if you say so. 
Tammy, Lardy, so lazy. She's her own worst enemy, not the haters. Jules, I agree with you on the self-help books. The only thing that helped me was going through the rough times and knowing I was am stronger and more appreciative for it. Exactly. You just have to fucking dust yourself off and fucking get on with life. Reading books about manifesting stuff and fucking meditating and all that malarkey. It's bollocks. I'm sorry. Mama Sita, good lord, this shoe department pick is beyond Melissa being a narcissist entitled twat. Yeah. She took that picture was taken for a purpose and people are saying I'm stretching. No, I'm not. I don't do stretching. Angie, hi Jules, glad to see another video. We pay twelve dollars a week for our laundromat. It goes by pounds, so she probably has close to thirty-eight pounds. Yeah, but there's three of you. There's only one of her. What the fuck is she watching? <laughs> Patricia, Jules, you're correct. Four quarters for one dollar. Thank you. I don't know how you keep your notes, pence, etc., in order. Lol, wishing you were. Ours are different colours and different sizes, so you just like you have. We used to have pound notes. We don't have them anymore. So you have like 5, 10, 50. No, 5, 10, 20, 50. And they're always a bit bigger and they're a different colour. So you know exactly what you're going for when you go into your, your wallet. But with you, you have to flick through and see the numbers in the corner. That would drive me mad. And ours are plastic now. It's dead weird. It doesn't even feel like money anymore. It's like Monopoly money. Deb, Glenda was born in December of 1951. Is she a fucking Sagittarian? another one i bet you she's a sagittarius same as my mother cynthia hi beautiful jewels and company hi cynthia deb glenda hasn't purchased lipstick in four to five years because she has sticky fingers and believes she's entitled to it for free exactly same as her nemesis lardy yeah right glenda doing your wash the way the rest of us do is way too much work for princess merle it's always much more expensive to drop off your clothes and have someone else fold and hang it. Bonnie, oh my God, make her stop with all the fur babies. I know, I just want to go in and fucking lock her in a cupboard or something. Bonnie, I always wanted a saltwater fish tank. Lots of upkeep though. The ones in the video were beautiful, weren't they? When I worked, I've told this story. When I worked at Pet World, one of the girls in the aquarium... Uh, bought a fish and she left it in the shop until she had her tank set up at home and it was a puffer fish and we called him puffin billy but he was so cute he had the biggest eyes and he was like a little cartoon character it was so cute and it was she had sold on the tank and she used to go and talk to him every day anyway when she got her tank perfected at home she took him home came into work the next day went home that night and he was dead because uh, there was works in the road and they'd cut the electric off and they hadn't given her any warning that the electric was going off and so he died and the whole shop was in mourning for this fish horrible and there was nothing she could do about it I don't believe her either about not having the lipstick I'm not sure when the video was made but she did one where she was at Walgreens buying lipstick and other makeup they just lie and they don't even bother to think are their lies lining up they lie about the lies they lied about it's annoying comparing a burn patient comparing it to a burn patient that's weird isn't it i thought that was really odd of all the connections to make i've never seen anything as amazing would love to know how it must take a lot of patience to make all the little miniatures can you imagine right they've got a needle felt all the things then they've got to do stop motion to show. It's like, how? I was saying to Jed, and I can't find it now to show him. What really blew my mind was the slicing of the bread. It's like, how the frig do you do that? That's content creation. I'm so happy your channel is growing. Thumbs up to you for showing people how awful narcissists can be. Bless you, Bonnie, for being my number one fan. Don't cats use their whiskers for balance? What a terrible thing to do. Yep. And for knowing if they can get in and get out of places. All sorts of things. But you look at her face. That's the face of a woman who's just dropped herself in the shit. And she thought, fuck, what have I said? And hope no one picked up on it.
Of course, they didn't. Rimmel has a clear lip liner. I think it's on Amazon and it's not too expensive. Yeah, I've seen a few clear ones. I went and looked. And you're right, there's Rimmel, there's Maybelline, there's somebody else. I think that's the best thing to do. If you don't like lip liners, if you've got a weird lip line, do you know what I mean? Just use a clear one. Hi, Robin. Matt. Glenda could be Lardass's twin. Wow, I know. They were separated at birth. I guarantee it. <laughs> Shan, why have you brought this creature into my life? Gross. Wasn't my idea. I got lots of people asking. At least she hasn't got any pets. So there's that, Shan. Diane. Glenda never maintains the car at all. No place will take off the tyres, etc. until they've spoken to the owner. Exactly. They're not going to do that to find out you've got no money to have to put it all back on again. Nope. About needs and costs. She cannot get an account because she's a felon. So she now goes back into another con and the car is registered in her daughter's name. Not Glenda's name. Boyfriend is made up. Crying sounds real. Not a tear in her eye. Now she'll grift her subs like always. They get so comfortable grifting that they don't think anything of it. Glenda knows exactly what she's doing. Con grifter thief. She will con the cash from poor subs. But she has her hair done, makeup, etc. Drawl is so thick and phony, isn't it? Sorry, Pep boys didn't rush to take Queen Glenda before anyone everyone else who were waiting hours before her. YouTube pays for the views. I don't know what that's in reference to. Anyway, use a toe. Glenda is 72. Her channel is largely centred on her stuff in her pie hole. She's probably shoplifted a few lipsticks though. Yeah. Faye, how much did she get? Who knows? Baby Jane. <laughs> Alan Elder. Most women manage to do their laundry without complaining, but not Glenda. She sees it as too much hassle. At times in the laundromat, you could see her reflection in the washer glass doors. At no time did it appear that she'd brought laundry to do. Plus, people who struggle with finances would eat breakfast at home rather than buy breakfast at the deli. Anyways, with the poor me, always with the poor me claims. Oops. Poop. All me, always me. Oh, fuck. Always with the poor me claims. And this time it was, I haven't bought lipstick in four to five years. Something no one believed. A hint of needing money at every turn, isn't it? Always. Oh, wouldn't it be great if I could do this every day? There's people going without food so she can stuff her pie hole. It's wrong. Jess, those huge Reese's Snowmen Santas they do are so good. It wasn't huge, huge. The snowman, he was about that big, which is huge enough compared to a cup. But he had a fat belly. They also do small shapes like Easter eggs, ghosts, pumpkins, hearts, Christmas trees. Cool. They come in white chocolate and milk chocolate. Oh my God, I'm craving them now. Halloween candy starts coming out in August, so I'll have to wait a month. <laughs> really? Can you start buying it in August? That's cool. <laughs> Stocking up. How much is for you and how much is for the trick and treat trick-or-treaters? <laughs> Kitty Cat, Laurie has the nerve to make fun of my makeup page, then told me she was hacked. Oh, she trying that old fucking pumpkin. When was this? Was this recent, Cat? Because she's been going on a lot of um, pages and being really fucking nasty. So is that her get out of jail card? I was hacked. Yeah, of course you were. Wow. Carolina, wow. Everything she has to say about her daughter, Brooke, is her age. Here she's 23. <laughs> My daughter Brooke, who is 23, 23, because they were just too <laughs> small for me. And she really, I know it's so people will say, Oh my gosh, you don't look old enough to have a daughter that age. Whatevs, Charlene. 
Yesterday I had this playing in the kitchen. My boyfriend was in there and we were both dying laughing at you, Jules. He said, that lady with the dog is crazy. <laughs> Tell him she is. And, Hello, Mr. Charlene. <laughs> Wigging out. As she's spouting her self-help new age bullshit, she's shoveling food into her gob as fast as she can. Pets as props for the weirdest content. She's such a cunt. She really is. It's the only word I can think of to explain her. Catcher, Jules, I'm giving myself a manicure while listening to the comments video. Cool. See, that's what it's for. Put it on in the background. Do the cooking or the cleaning or whatever. When you've finished, can you come and do mine? Just a do. Just. Just Jado. Is she still on YouTube? She, her account's still there. Um, but she's not putting up any content. She will at some point. I know she's just sat there watching and waiting. Because if she's still got the account, she's still able to put stuff up. Gigi, I just noticed she bought more followers. How can her minions be so stupid that no one questions it? I guess her followers are the same braid brain dead level as she is down low i don't know how nobody's pulling her on it or they are and she's deleting them gg pancake but absolutely nothing there same as me <laughs> i have no ass either carolina those pants are too small plus the oversized blazer she looks like a clown here a six but yep. i will try these on I thought these would be just a good basic. I was telling someone... Does she not realise how bad her bum looks in them? See, that's why I wear jeggings. They're like jeans, but leggings and long tops. So you can't see my bum because I don't have one. I wouldn't go out with a top like that. One, because the camel's on show. And two, because you can see that she has no ass. <sighs> Diane. But... She needed to get out of the shower to go get a camera to film this. She would love to call the firefighters. Glenda, get out of the shower. You're 72 year old, not five. I know. It was pathetic, really, wasn't it? Right. Anyone on the naughty step? Oh, we're getting out. You're on the naughty step. She's so jealous. I swear she truly thought she was going to be YouTube famous. I'm sure she even tried to sell her mum the idea. When we move to CA, I'll be selling Scentsy jewellery and working on my YouTube channel. I'll be as big as HRH and Trisha Paytas. Wait and see, Mum. If Lardo actually ever had money, she would absolutely flaunt it. Just like she couldn't wait to show that nicer ap apartment in Dana Point. Exactly. Bonnie. Oh, yes, she's definitely jealous. I thought she had all this money when she had real estate in Boston or when she was a very high management. I know, it's ridiculous. I did this, I was that. No, you weren't. Because if you were, you wouldn't be so stupid now. How could she sit there and say, I was upper level management, when you can see that she can't count unless she's using her fingers? Really? Anywho, congratulations if you got to the end with me. And why is that black? Where's that? Weird. Anyway, congratulations, and I will see you in the next one.